Gera Zeb Aurelius, or Zeb as he's known to us, is the hero of the rebellion and the last of the Losat, or so we thought. Zeb has for a long time believed that he is the last of his species, but a new episode of Star Wars Rebels has proven him wrong. The episode, entitled Legacy of Lasan, shows that Zeb is most definitely not the last of his kind. And to understand why that's huge, we had to go back and understand what happened to the Lasat. After the fall of the Republic, the Empire began expanding its control over many planetary systems. Those political parties, which were loyal to the Empire, stayed in power. Those who weren't willing to submit to the absolute dictatorship of the Empire were removed from power. This ended with the former party in power being murdered. On Zeb's home planet of Lasan, things got bad. And I mean really bad. The Empire created a genocide of Lasat. The Empire used T7 disruptor guns to murder many, many thousands of Lasat. The T7 disruptor was designed to be used on vehicles and its effects on organic matter were so horrible that the Senate banned its use in infantry combat. All of these atrocities Zeb was not only a witness to, but he was also a victim of. This explains Zeb's emotional duality between joy and sadness when he meets the two new Lasat. They remind him of his former place of honor as captain of the honored guard and of his former life before the empire. In this episode, our rebels help the two Lasat reach their homeworld, and while possibly being tempted to join them, Zeb knows that his real home is with our rebels. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If you'd like to suggest a topic for my next video, then please leave a comment down below and tell me what you want to see. And as always, may the force be with you.